nothing but if the observer dot current is true it means we have something or we are running the observer currently <laughs> hey guys i am nishan and welcome to cybernetico so in this video let's learn how to implement infinite storage in react so here i have example of an api call from axios a debounced api call and here what's happening is we are passing a search query param in this queue and the page number so the page number is 1 and the search query is this so if we search like hg wells it will fetch us all the books under the author hg wells and only one page number 1 because this is static it's not dynamic we are not setting it anywhere i mean we are setting it here but it's only for setting the page number as 1 when we search again to reset the page number and in the effort scrolling what will happen is if you go to the last book this page will render again and this page number will change so let's see how to do that in react so we will use something called intersection observer it's a native method in javascript that returns us true when we reach to the last point of the page for example the last point means the end of the page like this so basically what we'll do is we will catch the observer to be true and if it is true we will increment this page number using the use callback hook but first we need to get a use ref hook from i mean we have to import it from this react to create a reference to the observer so we can create a reference to the observer using use reference hook that much i said and now what we can do is to create a reference okay we can do this mm. constant observer observer equals to use ref now we have reference to the observer fine i mean we have a constant that will listen to our observer now we also need one more thing called use callback so basically it's use effect hook which returns us a function and runs on dependency change so let's create it after this use effect hook here so we can say use callback but it needs to be in a variable and what we need to do is we are our goal our goal is to find the last element using this observer so we can say last or say end of the page for give my variable naming so we in this we need to use the use callback so it's a function that returns the callback as the name suggest and it also takes some dependencies fine so we can do that but we will do it later first let's do this so this will take a param called value fine and we will return something so first we have this loading text you see here basically loading is a state which denotes that we are loading the page so we'll check if loading is true it means we are loading in this case we will return nothing no observer or nothing but if the observer dot current is true it means we have something or we are running the observer currently in this case we have to disconnect it or stop it so we have to see observer dot current dot disconnect like this it means when our observer is running we need to disconnect it from this and the third case is if it is nothing or if it is not loading or if it has some value in this in this case we have stored inside this current some value so uh, observer dot current now we'll use this method called new intersection sorry intersection observer the native method from javascript that i talked about it takes a param called uh, let's say item and i will say if the item exist 
say item dot zero if it is existing or intersecting we have function here also if it is intersecting it means we are on the last item or the end of the page so in this case we have to set the page number as increment so what we can do is this uh, where it is here set page number we can say it takes a previous or say priv and then we can say priv plus one to increment the page number fine this was it now we have this uh, value but we're not using it so let's use it and see why we had that so if the value is there it means we need to observe so we can say observer dot current dot observe and this fine fine now one thing we need here is one dependency array when the page is loading this will run to trigger our all the things fine so this was how to how do we made a function end of the page that will turn to true when we uh, when we what when we place to the end of the page so save this now we need to put this function this callback function to here i mean let's say we are having this here this yes so basically what will we do is we will put the reference here in the list so ref and this it means when we let when we reach to the last point this will film this function will run and it will reference to this function and it will run basically that was it but we have a problem here so if we save it right now this will run and this will call it infinitely like it will be an, it will be an infinite type of loop so what we can do is we can create a check here and in that check we will only run this reference when we reach to the last index or if we have the last index so we can say if the posts we have here posts dot length if it is equal to index plus one so we need also to get the index from here so if the post dot length let's say this is uh, 100 and index is let's say the last one i mean index plus one only then we need to run it so just cut this and add it here but also we need one else to run it in normal cases where we don't need to pass this reference now this was it save this and now let's see what is the next step we need to do before that i made a mistake here this should not be observed but this should be observed simply observe to observe the changes save this and the next step here is now to merge the previous data coming and the current data so let me explain what i mean so we are setting the data in the set post state using the function so this is the previous data for example let's say we search here hg and we are on the end of the page so in that case this page will refresh and the page number will change to 2 and what will happen is the next data that's coming from second page will override the first data page or the first page data so in this case we have to make this a callback function which is this function which is already a callback so it takes a previous method let's say previous prop this or param whatever it, whatever we call it and then we have to return the merged arrays from this so we can say return let's say an array which contains previous and the next which is this we have to merge them using spread operator like this now save this and we have an error what is this error we have uh, 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 what is this i think some this error so let's say cut this and remove this set post 
Okay, let's open this. I think we have an extra parenthesis. Then return or just return this. Now it will work just fine, but still it's not working fine. So cut and you can see this. Okay, we need to close it as well like this. Now it will, it will work. Save this and it's fine now. Now let's search for our author. Let's say HD. First, first open the network tab. We have nothing here. Search for HG wells or just HG. So we will get this result here from page number one and the query parameters HD. Fine. Now let's go to the last. Remember the page number page number is one. And don't count this. It's pre flight method. Page number is one. Fine. So now let's go to the last one or the last end of the page. Okay, we also need to remove this loading text from or setting loading from here because it will move our page to the top every time we load or search. So remove this, refresh this and give it a try once more HG. Now we are getting this HG param and page number one. See all the data here. Now let me go to the bottom of the page. You can clear it like this. Now go to the bottom of the page using scroll bar. You can do it slowly or quickly, it doesn't matter. And you'll see now we have this more data coming here. And also we have the previous data as well. And if you check the network tab, you will see the query as same and page number as two. Fine. This is the second set of data. Second data, which is contain, which contains 100 posts. And you will see it starts from 100. The start is the start of the index. So it will start at 100 and end at 200. Now, if you go to the bottom again or scroll to the bottom, we will see another API call here. See this. And now we have this another one. And if you see this, here what we will see is, wait, let me expand this. If you see this one, what I will see is the, what is it? Where is the payload? The page number is three. Open the preview and here start is 200. It means first one, the first start was 100. Second start is 200. I mean 100 to 200 and here 200 to 300. Now you can do it again and you will get this. Now the page number will be four and you will get the preview as zero. Huh? Why we're getting zero? The start is zero. I don't know, but they should be like 400 or 300. I think we don't have any more posts for this. That's why. So this was how we implement react or infinite scroll in react. Fine. So that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching my video.